Hot News Videos, The Truth, and The Whole Truth New York Daily News. Just about everything I am going to write here is obvious, but because the obvious frequently escapes us these days, it needs to be repeated. Videos often don't prove what we think they prove. They provide real, that's assuming we know they're real, which fairly soon we. And the emotional power contained in a single piece of footage can overwhelm pesky facts that later emerge. By now, we all know the first video of the Covington Catholic High School students outside the Lincoln Memorial made their behavior look downright awful. Then came other vantage points that showed more time leading up to the incident. We discovered the both are relevant. They may not exhaust just as has happened many times before. Just last month, from the start, we had no excuse not to be at least a little bit humble about what we didn't know what had happened before police arrived, how the confrontation had escalated. But we just plowed ahead. For a few days, earlier this month, we were in a tizzy about disturbing video of cops hitting suspects with fists and batons outside a subway station in Washington Heights. Before long, we learned and saw a police body cam in the end, the rush to condemn did nothing other than cast doubt on future rushes to condemn. When out of context video is delivered by people with known ideological axes to grind like, most of us are smart enough to keep our guard up. It's impossible to, aside from what we've learned about truth and complexity, the way we routinely salivate over and spread content to generate and amplify outrage tells us something else damning about ourselves. Many if not most of us are addicted to advantage. We are constantly, if a picture seems to be worth a thousand words, a viral video seems to be worth a thousand retweets of a clever comment. So a dramatic vignette that seems to confirm our preconceptions is manna from heaven we can then retroactively magnify every gesture, scrutinize every look, track it all back to what we already knew to be true. None of this is to say that we can't point to videos as telling important truths about our culture. They do, when, over and over again, we seem incapable of processing them that way. And that's going to